Hi, this screencast is going to demo and discuss the new about section included in the web form module for Drupal 8. To start off, uh, my name is Jake Rockowitz. I'm known as Jay Rockowitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. Um, what about the web form module in Drupal? Well, I've been experimenting with how to integrate content that improves the overall user experience within the web form module as you're, you're you know, first time you install it, as you're navigating around, learning features. And these experiments, you know, include inline videos, help and documentation. Both of those are also available on Drupal.org. And then these two experiments that are pretty big is, you know, how can we help you? It's a menu, and I'll show that to you in the demo. And also having some promotions available to, to help figure out how to start funding the web, my work, the web form module, and just experimenting with it. And you know, the, the overall goal that I'm after is to make users feel comfortable and supported when using the web form module and really Drupal and, and open source. That's one of the, you know, skepticism of open source is you install something and you're like, well, is this supported? Am I going to get help? Am I going to find bugs? How am I going to fix the bugs? And then this all leads to, we need to promote the Drupal community to new and existing members. That's the strength of Drupal. And the software doesn't communicate that. Um, you go to Drupal.org and you can hear it at conferences, but a lot of people come in from the software. They install it. And, and for me, I'm trying to just raise awareness of my work. Um, that's one of the main reasons I took on the project was professional development um, to get my name out there. And, and, you know, I'm enjoying being the maintainer of such a great project. Uh, and, and I've learned a few lessons with these experiments. And one of the first ones is really important to emphasize anyone doing this type of experimentation is you have to make sure you can disable it because some people are not going to want it. Um, the promotions especially, I've got, I got pushback. And everyone calmed down when I could respond and say, well, you can go check this box and remove this feature. And I've followed through with that with everything I'm doing now. If it's an ex experimental feature that someone may not want, I want to make sure it can be disabled. And these, last, these other two are really important is I just, for, you know, you always come back to sometimes when you're doing experimentation is you need to keep things simple and not reinvent the wheel. And that's what I kind of realized with these experiments when I've been thinking about them is they all come down to, I, we need an about section. It's the most common and best approach to just making people feel comfortable and telling people about myself, the web form module and Drupal. Um, so I want to demo these things to you. I'm, I'm on the existing late, the release just to show you where we're coming from, or I'm coming from. This is the promotion. Now, this will not be here anymore. It'll only be in the add-on section. And these are dismissible, and it's a lot smaller in the latest release. And that's not really what the screencast is about, but it says, how can we help you menu? I took it out. And what I did is I took this content. I'll just show you. It's this content that's embedded, and it gets people started with call to actions. And it also follows you in the help section. If you go to the web form, you'll see that content. But I'm going to go to, to the changes I made, and I got rid of it. And I moved everything to an About tab. And if we go to the About tab, it has two sub-tabs. The web form module, which is just a short introduction. It's taking the video that you know you have to click to watch the video, and I'm just putting it right there to get people started. And then I'm offering ways to you know get help. You know, what else? How can we help you report bugs and issues, request features? And then, yes, I am promoting myself at the bottom. I'm experimenting with this. I'm, you know, saying, hey, I'm the maintainer. I also want to experiment with promoting other people. And that's one of the things I want to show in the Drupal tab, which I'm not doing yet. But I am promoting some things. Well, one, I'm promoting the community. I love this photo. It just gives people, hey, we're a community. Um, and I made it really big. Everything else is, you know, 600 pixels. But that I wanted full width. And I'm, I'm saying, are you new to Drupal? Get involved in the community. Start by creating an account. And then I'm also saying, you know, meet the Drupal Association because Drupal Association is what, it's the backbone of our community. It's what the infrastructure that the Web4 module is built on. And I also am doing a call to action to join the Drupal Association. And something to say about the Drupal Association, which I'm, I'm kind of fascinated with because I started paying attention in the Web4 issue queue who's a member of the Drupal Association, and not a lot of people are, and it kind of blows my mind that people are asking for support or having issues, and they're not helping to support the infrastructure that they're using. And I, I might experiment more with this of promoting the Drupal Association and pushing people to join. I think it's really important. I, I don't think membership dollars will solve some of the Drupal Association's financial issue, issues, but it creates awareness and 
for every 10, you know, I don't know, every, there's some number for every 100 new members, probably one corporate sponsor is added to the Drupal Association. Probably corporate sponsorship is the key, you know, to Drup the Drupal Association's future. Um, to continue forward, well, what's next? Add more content to the About Web Form section. I, I want to, you know, let it sit there, keep it very static and simple. Um, there are some directions we can go in and, and maybe move the About Drupal section into core. I think that also has to sit and we have to think about it. It is something I want to demo because if we compare ourselves to WordPress, so this is the WordPress About page. And I mean, WordPress has a whole different user experience, but this is pretty interesting to look at is they have three tabs. It's what's new, exciting widgets. The web form module could also follow through with that with release notes and, and you know, pulling in information. And I love this page. This is what should be included in the Drupal installation. It should be a list of all the contributors, maintainers, core committers. Anyone in maintainers.txt should get this, be on this page. It makes a huge difference because you can click through and read about these people. And if you're hiring someone, you could, one or uh, one of these guys, I remember going to his page and he's open to being hired. He has a whole dedicated website. I'm just clicking through to, you know, it, it's just a really important thing. And then finally, you know, they're emphasizing the open source license, and I think that's great. Uh, it's It really helps people understand what's going on and understand the software community. So that's WordPress. I mean, I think Drupal is always takes a slightly different approach. Um, I think it's very important. I don't see in WordPress how to disable this. I, I haven't really explored too deeply, but I think if we did it in the Drupal community, we have to make it very easy to disable as a, a setting. Um, so some final thoughts. Yeah, I really think maintainers and contributors should have profiles with photos. I think that should happen on Drupal.org. Every module page should have a photo of every maintainer. Um, we should be calling out new features in this about section. I should be calling them out. So when someone installs and you say, here's here's highlights of the new features in, in Drupal with all the experimental modules, I think that information should also go in when someone does an update in the about section. Um, and users really want to know how to get support. And I think that's important in all levels. And yes, I think Drupal Association should have a place in the software to promote their mission, which is to support the Drupal community. And the software won't succeed unless the Drupal Association has membership and funding and support and spot, you know, corporate sponsors and people go to Drupal cons. And I don't think we can rely on people just going to Drupal.org because in some cases you could just do someone hands off a Drupal site and they've never been to Drupal.org and they run Composer and they use Pantheon and Pantheon does the automatic updates. And yeah, if we have automatic updates, people will never go to Drupal.org. So anyway, I want to end with, you know, how can I help you with web forms in Drupal 8? Um, I'm here to help your training support. We can contribute together and build a feature. And I, I just want to see you succeed. So contact me jrockwoods.com, jrockwoods at jupil.org. And I just want to say thanks.